A Pearl bus driver leaves a young girl at the wrong stop. The six-year-old girl's mother, Bailey Rash, is outraged, and she tells Jade Belexa the Pearl Public School District should do better and the bus driver should be fired. Bailey Rash hugs her daughter, Wren, and says what happened Monday around 3 p.m. is a mother's worst nightmare. This is totally unacceptable. My child could have been stolen. She could have been ran over. The police called saying her daughter was in tears and distraught. I guess something told me to come outside, and the little girl was coming down the street crying, and I asked her what was wrong, and she said she was lost and really didn't understand her. And little boys were riding the bicycle, and I asked them what was wrong with her. And she said she got off the wrong bus, the stop. So I talked to her, and I said, where are you supposed to be? And she said, I don't know. And uh, so I told her, I said, well, she was crying, really upset. And I told her, I said, well, come up here and sit down. I'll give you a popsicle. And I, that's when I decided to call the police. Rash wonders why her child wasn't dropped off at her usual location. Any child of any Pearl District should have a tag on it with the name, number, emergency contact, and address. Why was that not looked at before she was dropped off at this location? Were you scared walking by yourself? Rash says she was supposed to be left at Claremont Drive, but she got off at Claremont Circle. She told me the bus driver told her to get off the bus. Rash says this was a serious ordeal that needs to be resolved now to make sure it never happens again. She believes the district has let down the children when it comes to safety. The Pearl Public School District apologizes and says, quote, PPSD bus drivers are trained on district transportation protocols at the beginning of each school year that are in place to protect our students. However, follow-up training for bus drivers has been conducted to reinforce their role in ensuring that our children remain safe. To read the full statement, go to our website, WJTV.com. For 12 News, I'm Jade Belexa.